Right, we're going to move to the second evaluator. The second evaluator is going to be uh, Paul Priest, who's going to step up here and do the evaluation for our second speaker. Thank you, Paul. So, Ramesh, you were giving your icebreaker today. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you were giving your icebreaker today. The icebreaker, in a lot of ways, is the most difficult speech. And the reason is, I kind of think of coming to Toastmasters and giving speeches, it's a little like skydiving. Who here has gone skydiving? Anyone? Anyone? A few people? So the hard part, when you go skydiving, you're standing in the plane, 20, 30,000 feet in the air, and you're looking out, and the hard part is jumping out of the plane. Once you're falling, you know, you just gotta pull that shoe. Like, that part's easy. You're just like falling, that's easy. Anybody can fall. But the jumping is the hard part. And that's really what you did with the icebreaker. You mentioned to me before the speech that you maybe didn't feel quite as prepared as you would have liked. That's something that I think would improve maybe your use of the ums and the ahs, kind of the vocal pauses that we all kind of have, the more you can prepare, kind of craft your speech, and then formulate it, the less those will kind of come into play. I really liked how you brought your passion into play for all of us, telling us about your love of computers, telling us about how difficult it was moving down to Charlotte. That's great, and I would like to hear more of that. I would like to hear a little bit more of your story why it is you love computers? How did you really get into that? Was it through video games? Was it through programming? And then tell us a little bit more about what occasioned your move to Charlotte. Was it for a job? Was it for family reasons? Give us some more of that, give us some more of that emotion involved in both those big moves and really those great passions of your life. As I was saying, really the big thing is making the jump out of the plane. And you did that. And from here on out, really what you have left is really the second big part of what it takes to succeed is doing the work. The jumping, the making that effort, the conquering the fear is one big thing. And the second part is putting in a little bit of that work. And I think you can definitely do that. Obviously you've shown that you have the ability to do that in developing your love of computers and your knowledge of them. And so I'm looking forward to hearing your other speeches, and I think we all are, and hearing you talk a little bit more about those passions.